Hey guys, welcome back. Today, we are going to discuss why the FIA intervened about the porpoising phenomenon and how it will it affect the teams. Now finally, let's explain. What is porpoising? Porpoising in F1 is when the ground effect, responsible for much of the car's downforce, effectively sucks the car into the tarmac on a straight. When the car gets too close to the ground, the airflow under the car stalls, and the suspension essentially pushes the car back up in a repeating cycle. Porpoising is a new problem that the current teams have not had to deal with before, which forced the engineers to work overtime to solve the problem. Some teams were worse affected by porpoising than others, and below we take a closer look at what exactly porpoising means in F1. For example, the teams that are struggling with the porpoising are Ferrari and Mercedes. With Ferrari having porpoising but being able to control it and produce good performance in lap time. With the Mercedes however Mercedes team boss Toto Wolff explained that the W13 is carrying the porpoising into the high speed corners followed by the long back straight making the effect worse. This phenomenon is leading to a significant proportion of performance deficits. However, Wolf thinks that there are other areas where the car can improve. Meanwhile, Ferrari is quicker almost everywhere on the track. FIA following statement included, following the eighth round of this year's FIA Formula One World Championship, during which the phenomenon of aerodynamic oscillations porpoising of the new generation of Formula One cars, and the effect of this during and after the race on the physical condition of the drivers was once again visible. This means that the FIA has decided that, in the interests of the safety, it is necessary to intervene to require that the teams make the necessary adjustments to reduce or to eliminate this porpoising phenomenon, cites a number of drivers reporting back pain after recent events. A technical directive has been issued to give guidance to the teams about the measures the FIA intends to take to tackle the problem. These include, 1. Closer scrutiny of the planks and skids, both in terms of their design and the observed wear too. The definition of a metric, based on the car's vertical acceleration, that will give a quantitative limit for acceptable level of vertical oscillations. In addition to these short-term measures, the FIA will convene a technical meeting with the teams in order to define measures that will reduce the propensity of cars to exhibit such phenomena in the medium term. The FIA has decided to intervene following consultation with its doctors in the interests of safety of the drivers. In a sport where the competitors are routinely driving at speeds in excess of 300 km per hour, it is considered that all of the driver's concentration needs to be focused on that task and that. What do you think about the FIA intervention? Is it right for the driver's safety or is it smokescreen for teams to gain performance? Let me know in the comments below and your opinion has a good day.